Hello, and this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo on a very nice Monday morning here in Boca Raton, Florida, in my private office. I'm here with my patient, Pierre, and, and we're going to go ahead and talk about his case as we place the rubber dam. So first things first, the clamp is on tooth number 18, and we're going to go right in. Our job is to remove the temporary on 19 today and gain access again to the old post and core. Um, I don't have an x-ray to show you, but uh, his case does have uh, uh, some obstacles, and I'll explain them as I go on here. First things first, I want to place um, a little ligation here. Um, how we doing? Okay, Pierre? He's been very patient through this uh, ordeal. This is not hasn't been an easy process and a kind of a uh, discovery as we go over. Basically, he's got a distal root that has an abscess uh, from an ill-fitting uh, old root canal, and uh, the dentist that uh, placed um, the restoration placed a cast, non-precious post and core. Um, uh, after the root canal was done, and of course the crown. So we took, we had to take the crown off to expose the the um, post and core. We uh, subsequently had a endodontist to make an attempt through the crown, but it was futile. And so he decided to uh, t to condemn the tooth. And Pierre and I decided, well, we're going to try to see if we can do this right, uh, if we can um, re restore the tooth. So there's our temporary crown and we're going to just gently tease that off uh, by slotting this first. We're going to do a little slot procedure. Actually, Jen, let's try it with a spoon. Uh, just bear with me, um, Pierre. We're just going to try to just pop this off. You okay? Let's see if we can just lift that up. There it comes. That's just on with a temporary cement. So this is our temporary crown and we'll save that now. That'll go in a cleaner and uh, Julie will take care of that. And now we've got all this other stuff in here, okay? So this is all same material, a temporary tampon that we just decided to go back in. We're going to use some ultrasonics uh, scaler. And uh, by doing the ultrasonics, it really st vibrates everything. Um, and we want to try to lose a little of the cement seal in there and see if we can get this off a little easier. So let me refocus um, number 29, oh, it's going to be number 19, uh, and uh, here we go. And we'll wait for the water to come out. Let's see if there's any water yet. Not even a trickle, so let's see, it must be a petal. There we go. And you got buttons for buttons here and switches for switches. <laughs> Let me just make sure we're right in the middle of your picture so you can see that at home. There we go. All right, now we'll wait for that water again. And we st still have a little water issue, so let me, let me try a different handpiece. And let's try that again. It should be a go here. Oh, we're turned off. There we go. Now we're on. There we go. Lots of water here. There we go. Okay, so you can see how easy that is. Now look at how far in I'm going on this tooth. Uh, now this was all tooth structure, um, most of which we conserved. All right, we went into the metal with a fine diamond, and uh, we try to gain access. But this, the unknown that we're dealing with here, uh, number one, it. This may be a an amazing cast uh, casting of non-precious metal, which is by far most dentists know it's the hardest thing to grind on. Uh, we, we don't like it. I'd rather grind on titanium than this non-precious stuff. Uh, someone asked me, well, what's non-precious made of? Uh, so we're looking that one up today. I wonder what they what these materials. Uh, I know I've. I've used it very limited in my practice. Uh, usually I'd like to see it in a more softer material like gold, high noble metal. Uh, but uh, it obviously it's uh, very rigid. So my attempt, um, again, 
the post. Let me get this in focus for you. The post is in with probably a zinc phosphate cement. It looked yellow when I went in there. And now we're our challenge is just to walk back through where we were at his last time. Now notice there might be some movement and if I tell you if this thing comes loose, wow, that means a short visit today. We're also looking for any fractures that may be apparent. And um, the unpredictable stuff. Oh, there it is. It's loose. We got it. Here it comes. All right. How about that? That was pretty exciting, Pierre. We got it. And um, we'll take a look at that right now. Uh, now, as we were looking at this, and I don't have an x-ray. I wish I would show you. But there's the casting. And our biggest fear, this is where I was barreling in. I was going to decapitate this um, by barreling in, but uh, evidently uh, uh, didn't need to uh, go any further. The vibration simply got out. So there's your post, nice and smooth. Must have been a, a tapered type of post. Here's the attempt where the endodontist tried to go in and just felt it was just unbearable. You can, well, you imagine he would have had to go all the way past the thickness of this core just to get to the post and to make access. There's the old cement underneath. That looks like a zinc phosphate cement. So the gods were with us here. Let's find out if there's any further issues in this tooth. So we're back at it, and we're going to go ahead and rinse that out thoroughly, and then I'll use a, a small ultrasonics again. There may be some decay underneath there that, that was unaccounted for uh, from the x-ray. So that's our, our next mission now is just to gently get rid of the rest of this white cement. We'll do that now with some extra water yep. and then we'll make our way into this this tooth so I'll do a complete cleanup and, and most of my preparation design uh, as a dentist is just right to the tissue level we, we I try to stay in focus for everybody here all right so yes, there is some decay underneath. Looks like the furcation area. And uh, we're cleaning all that up. Hopefully no other issues. There's a slight horizontal fracture there on the distal aspect. You can see that more clearly with the microscope. And we can't take still shots right now until I go off the air. So uh, we're ready, getting ready to take some still photography, and I'm going to have to switch off the air. So um, I'm going to just have a quick look. Everybody out, please. I have a quick look down inside. So this is, this is now through the top portion. And so what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just lower my light on the microscope, and then I'm going to use a fiber optic handpiece light itself. Let's see how this comes out on the video. It might be a little bright, but we want to maintain our focus and see if you guys can see what I'm seeing here. We're going to lighten this up a little bit better. All right, so I maintain focus here. How's that? Is that good focus? Okay, so my job now is to go down into that canal and check for cracks. So I got to get that you got to clean all that cement out of there. That's got to come out. I got to check the other two sites. You see what they actually did? They did the root canals. So there's the gutta percha on both. Uh, but there's a single, really just a single. Um, I'm just concerned. You see, there's a crack. You see that right? You see that horizontal? Uh, that's vertical. Let me get you back in focus. Now uh, we got to go the other way. Let's see if I can get that. That's a little better. Yeah. So that's that's going to be on the distal f uh, lingual, distal lingual crack line apparent. There it is. All right. So this Dr. Jerry Cuomo, thanks for hanging in there with me on this one. It wasn't easy. Uh, if I were to tell you it were, it would be. But this one is up to about three hours of treatment and going on four. But we were at least able to get to this point. Uh, avoiding uh, the need for an implant and hopefully we're, we'll, we'll come out uh, doing quite well. So I'm going to clean the tooth up.
I really can't show you all my techniques during this, so that uh, we just would be here for a half an hour of filming. So I'm going to come back after it's cleaned up, and I'll show you the instrumentation and and what we have done if we can salvage uh, this tooth. Dr. Jerry Como, thank you for for watching this morning, and we'll be right back at you hopefully for the next uh, conclusion of this this clip. By the way. Um, if all goes well, he'll go back to the endodontist who made the first attempt to have the root canal treated properly and remove that abscess so then we can get him back to do our procedure, building the tooth up and making a new crown. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.